Hello, good morning, and welcome to your Wednesdays this morning, and happy summer solstice. Thank you. Happy summer solstice Thank you. Happy summer you. solstice to you and you and you and you. <laughs> It's officially the longest day of the year Yay! now. Many people believing it connects us with our ancestors and the land. I'm down with that. Yeah, anything you that are, connects right? you to the land. Yeah, uh, next year I want to be there. You have to. Be. I've never, I've never, never done it, no, and I would love won't. to go down to Stonehenge with nearly 17 hours. You've of... got to both be naked. <laughs> Is that? That's not what I'm happens. Game if you are. That's, <laughs> that's that's not what happens. I think that's optional. Wow. It's an option you're going to take. <laughs> uh, we're nearly 17 hours of daylight today. Someone who is making the most of every moment and is fully clothed, I might add, is Dr <laughs> Larissa, who is lucky enough to watch the sunrise at Stonehenge at approximately 4.52 this morning. at Stonehenge to celebrate the summer solstice and I almost can't believe I'm saying that because for me this is the most exciting point in the year and I've waited to do this segment for so so long. The reason I'm here with all of these people super early is because we saw the rising of the sun which is going to mark the longest day of the year here in the northern hemisphere but the actual word solstice when translated in Latin means to pause to reflect and the reason that that is so important is because this actually represents a really powerful time of transformation. We're moving into the second part of the year and that brings with it lots of magic and lots of anticipation, lots of growing and creation of new seeds as well. So it's really, really special and the vibe here is so high. So people have been gathering here for over 4,000 years to celebrate the solstice and that goes back to when the site was first built, when the, when the circle was first built um, and it was built by the first farmers, the, the first people who brought farming to this country and the reason they were connecting to the power of the sun was because their livelihoods really depended on it, their crops, their animals, they needed to understand the sun cycles and so it became sort of a point of worship, a point of celebration. Some people believe that Stonehenge was actually built initially as a monument dedicated to fertility and that's because if you watch the sun passing over the stones it's thought and believed that some of these shadows correspond to male and female deities but the other reason scientifically speaking as to why fertility is so important for the plant and human world at this time is because of the connection to the sun so when we're absorbing all of these beautiful incredible energizing rays at this maximal pinnacle point what happens is that our hormones get stimulated like our melatonin and vitamin D and this helps to release and trigger sex hormones from the brain which can increase ovulation as well as sperm counts and of course lead to an increase in libido. So why is today so special for you guys? Oh it's amazing yeah. It's really cool, I wasn't really sure what to expect but it's pretty, pretty amazing when the sun came up over those clouds. And a lot of like you know witches and wizards in one place so it's pretty... Right. You feel it, you know what I mean? For me personally, I just like the way everyone comes together. I like the, the, the mentality of it all. Like, I like herd mentality, so like people drumming and things like that. It was a beautiful atmosphere. It was lovely. I met some interesting people to talk to, from an astrophysicist through to a brand new pagan witch. So I'm right here in the middle of the Stonehenge Circle. It's somewhere I've never been before. And you can see and you can hear the vibe here. It's just absolutely insane. It's beautiful, it's incredible, it's so deeply bonding and connecting with nature. And um, I'm going to have a little boogie myself, but so grateful to be here, so grateful to just be connecting with all of these people and, um, and carrying on for the rest of the day. Guys are stopping there. They were blessed with the best weather there last night. Too many night. clothes, that's all I say. <laughs> Stop focusing on that. <laughs> uh, no, it's beautiful. I'd love to do it. Yeah. Next year, let's I'm all go. Be so nice. Let's all go, It'd be amazing. They'll be so happy with the whole this morning. <laughs> I know, I might ruin the vibe. <laughs> yeah.